Hey guys, Ebony Gadget Guy here. Just want to drop back in. I know I'm a little behind on getting this review done after the unboxing, but here I am today. I'm going to do the review for the track phone, LG Optimus Dynamic. It's also known as the LG L38C. Uh, great phone. It is carried by a couple of different carriers, so you have some options on that, but this is the track phone review. It's a CDMA, uh, CDMA phone, 800 megahertz, 3 megapixel. Right now, super cheap. You can get it for $19.99, both on eBay and Amazon. Keep in mind in this review, it is an entry-level phone. Take that as such. Um, the LG Optimus Dynamic, like I said, is offered by several carriers. Uh, being an entry-level phone, it's got an all-plastic body. Um, there's no dedicated camera button anywhere on the phone. Um, but you do have uh, dedicated capacitive touch buttons down here, uh, back, and then your settings and menu button. Then right here in the middle, you've got a dedicated home button. So if I were to uh, go to another screen and hit that button, it bring me right back. And for people that have their uh, apps scattered all over the place, that's extremely handy. Um, also, uh, just so that we know, even though the home button's in the middle, I just want everybody to make sure you understand, not having that dedicated search button anymore, it's not that big of a deal either, and you do have to physically press that button. You have to actually push it. Um, going over a couple of things on the phone itself, you've got the micro USB charge and data port here on the bottom. Um, on the left, you have the volume rocker up and down. And then on the top, on the left-hand side, you have the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. On the right, you have the power and lock button. Um, being that this is a CDMA vice, device, it does use the Verizon network. Um, it's 2.5 inches wide, uh, 4 inches tall. It's got a 3.2 inch wide screen. It's running Android 2.3.6 Gingerbread. It comes with triple minutes for the life of the device. And the cool thing about that the track phone is doing, it's it's triple minutes for each bucket. Triple minutes for talk, triple minutes for text, and triple minutes for data. By that I mean if you had a 200 minute card, you get 600 for talk, 600 for text, 600 for data. Uh, which is pretty cool, especially since that allows you to really choose how you use your, uh, your uh, data buckets. Um, it also comes with a couple of small accessories. Um, obviously, you've got the uh, AC adapter, and then, of course, you've got the USB charging cord that comes with it that's uh, separate from it, which works out well for those of us that like to travel because we can take it in our car with us. It also has an onboard 4 gigabyte micro SD card that is removable. I'm just not going to show that. Um, YouTube plays really well on this phone. Um, unlike some of the other entry-level phones that have run into problems with that, this one's definitely uh, not running into that. As you can see, it's running smoothly with no problems at all. Um, I have found that Hulu does not run very well on this. You do run into some audio sync issues with Hulu, so I would expect the same for those of you that are Netflix users. Um, I think also with the keyboard being the way it is, uh, a lot of people will really like that. With the keyboard, I found that messaging works out really, really easily. Um, you're able to really get some uh, good messaging going. And as you can see, it's very responsive. Um, and more than anything, um, it's very, very accurate, which is the most important part for me is that it's accurate. Uh, so I think that comes in. Uh, take this phone at face value again, though. Don't try to compare it against any of the higher-end flagship phones. Um, the big nag on this phone worldwide, all over the Internet, has been the memory space issues. It comes with 157 megabits of uh, uh, memory that you can actively use for your apps. In defense of this phone, though, entry-level phones across the board are doing that. So again, this is a very nice entry-level smartphone. Thanks again for joining me, and Ebony Gadget Guy wants to say thanks, and you guys have a wonderful day. Take good care and come back and see me. Share this, get it to your friends, and like my page. Talk to you guys later.